Welcome back to Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops. Well, today we have more bad news for the evolutionist. Institute for Creation Research has an article posted. It's entitled, Newly Discovered Human Brain Genes Are Bad News for Evolutionists. It's by Jeffrey Tompkins, Ph.D. Uh, the, the story indicates that... Uh, well, well, first of all, the question is asked, did, did the human brain evolve from an ape-like brain, like evolution would say? But there are two new, brand new scientific reports that are describing four human genes which have been discovered that are located in three completely separate regions in the chromosome makeup of humans. Now, these genes appear, according to this article, to play an important role in human brain development. Now, the most striking discovery about this is that three of these four newly discovered genes are completely unique to humans and found in no other mammal species, not even apes. So while each of the genes share some regions of similarity, they are all clearly unique, completely separate, structurally different. In their, in their overall structure, and in their function when compared to each other. Now, evolutionists claim that somehow uh, the original version of one of these genes uh, must have inherited from an, uh, th that was inherited from an ape-like ancestor, somehow must have been duplicated and then moved to completely different areas of, of the chromosome. And then altered itself for new functions. And the, the evolution story goes on to say that uh, this supposedly occurred several times, you know, in the distant past, uh, uh, after humans diverged from some, my words, imaginary, never discovered, never observed, common ancestor uh, that supposedly we have in common with chimps. But see, this evolutionary theory holds major problems and conundrums for the evolutionist. First, when compared to each other, the particular gene locations on the chromosome are each e extremely unique in their protein coding arrangement and structure. The genes don't look duplicated at all when examined scientifically. So the burden of proof is now on the evolutionary model, which must somehow explain how a supposed ancestral gene was duplicated and then spliced into different locations on the chromosome and then precisely rearranged itself and then precisely altered itself with precise new functions, all of this without disrupting the then existing ape brain and all of this by accidental, get this, mutations. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a conundrum. The fact that three newly discovered genes that are completely unique to humans and found in no other known mammal species, that fact has been clearly covered up in evolutionary literature and verbiage. Clearly, this is yet another major genetic discovery scientific discovery that invalidates human evolution and, once again, proves that we are created uniquely as humans in the image of God, as the Bible declares. Well, we're going to take a time out. When we get back, I've got a story for you, another story that's going to knock you. Get your copy of my new book, The Magic Man in the Sky, Effectively Defending the Christian Faith. Considering the days in which we now live, you need this book. Available at Amazon.com and WND Superstore. Get your copy today.